Hello, my name is Anakin Alice and I wanted to share with you today my new shawl that I've just released uh, today. So I wanted to just do a quick demo, different ways of wearing it and then at the end I'm actually going to go through the construction method of it and how you can make it smaller or bigger. Because there is quite a big shawl and I know some people prefer slightly smaller shawls so I'm going to go through that at the end of this video. Um, so this is the shawl. It's knitted sideways, but I'll talk more about the construction later. So I've got a stitch on one side, lace in the middle, and then got a stitch, and then along the lower edge, it's got a lace border all the way along. So I'm just going to show you how I would wear it. Now, I seem to have chosen a very bright t-shirt today. It is actually going to be the hottest day of the year so far, I think. Possibly the hottest day in history in the UK. Um, it's actually quite cool here down in the southwest of England, in Cornwall, where I live. Uh, but it's only nine o'clock in the morning, so which is why I'm in the shade. And it's already it's probably going to get hotter. So not really the day you want to wrap yourself in wool, but it's going to be autumn before we know it. So let me just show how I would wear it. So you can just fling it over your shoulders and wear it across like that. So you can see the back. Just rest it over your arms like that. It's quite a good way of wearing it. Uh, you could just pin it with a short pin here. Um, keep your shoulders and your arms warm. That's one way of wearing it. You could just kind of fling it around your shoulders. So let me just show you. So. Fling it over your shoulders like that. Ooh. Like that. So it covers your shoulders, but it's still bunched up around your neck. Keep your neck nice and warm. <clears throat> so in the autumn, I quite often wear shawls like this. Uh, when Before it gets too cold, you know, when it's sort of, or if it's a warm day in the autumn, I just put on a sweater or a poncho, and then I'll just fling this over like that. Now, if you fling it like that, it does tend to fall down. Let me just, there we go. It can fall down a bit, so I <laughs> can fall down a bit. So I quite often put a shawl pin here to keep it on. There we go. Okay, point taken. It's not going to stay on. There we go. So what I quite often do is I'll put a shawl pin here just to keep it from falling down. So that's quite a, a way you can wear it. Um, my favourite way to wear shawls, especially big shawls, is to wrap it around my neck as a scarf. So what I do is I put the front, the middle front section at the front, and then I loop the longer edges around the side. Now bear in mind I am five foot ten, and I'm quite a big size as well. So um, if you are shorter or smaller, this will probably look bigger on you. But um, this is how I quite often wear it in the winter because then it can fit inside my coat. It just hangs out and it's nice and warm and bunched up around my neck. I quite often wear it like this. Uh, beginning of the autumn, when it's not so cold, I'll wear a jump, pig jumper or a poncho and then I'll just wrap this around my neck. Um, I do find if my neck's warm, then I keep a lot warmer. But this is kind of my favourite way to wear it in the winter. Okay. So there are different ways you can wear it. <coughs> depending on what kind of look you want. If you are a tiny person, skinny person, I don't think this is going to work for me. I haven't actually tried this. If you are small, you might be able to actually wrap it across your front and then tie it around your back. I'm way too big for that, but if you're tiny, if you're small, like a size 10 maybe, I don't know, you can probably wrap it around your front and then just tie it around your back um, but it's or you can make it bigger but it's i'm too big for that um i would make a really big shawl for that to be able to fit me that way so this is the shawl it's called valetta it's knitted in zabba ball 100 from shopple and it takes two balls of zabba ball it's quite a reasonably priced yarn it's not a, um i think it's about 13 pounds 12 13 pounds a ball I should know because I sell it in my online shop, but I think it might I think I might be selling it for twelve fifty. So two balls, twenty-five pounds, you can knit this shawl 
Um, if you are new to lace knitting, then this is not difficult. Um, the di most difficult bit is the edging here. So the edging has um, yarn over or yarn forward, depending on where you're from, uh, knit two together, SSK, and slip on knit two together, pass slip stitch over. Now all of those you can find tutorials on the internet. So if you just type any of those into YouTube, you'll find loads of tutorials. They're not difficult. There's also tutorials on my website as well. So if you're new to lace knitting, this is a good short to start with. If you're an experienced lace knitter, then this is probably something nice and quick that you can knit over the summer. So I'm hoping to run a knit along, knit along or a cal for this in my Facebook group, Love of Lace Knitting. Um, and I will also, for those of you not on Facebook, but maybe use Instagram, I will also do a hashtag for the cal there. And the cal will run in August and September. Um, so you've got to the end of September to finish it. And I will have a discount code for the pattern running for the duration of the knit along. I will also have some kits available for pre-order on my website for this colorway and some other colorways but I want to be able to send those out beginning of August so I'm going to close the pre-order date at the end of July so if you're watching this after the end of July it may be too late for the pre-order um, but you can still get the Sabable 100 on my website. You can also use Sabable, regular Sabable. And if you don't like wool and you want to use cotton, then the Sabable cotton is also perfect for this shawl because it has the same meterage and it's the, roughly the same tension. So that will be fine as well. So I will add another little video clip at the end of this video where I explain how to do the shaping and how you can make it bigger or smaller. So I thought it would be uh, useful to go through the construction of this shawl. So if you want to make it bigger or smaller, you can do. So it starts here with just a few stitches. And then you are um, doing garter stitch here and then a lace pattern here. So to start with, you're increasing in the garter stitch and in the lace pattern. So you can see here, there's the diagonal line in the lace pattern. And when you get to here, you reach the full width of the lace pattern. So from here, you're only increasing in the garter stitch. So if you put a marker just before the lace pattern, it's easier to see where you have to uh, increase. And this section is done in garter stitch and this is done in stocking stitch and lace. So up to here, increasing along the edge and inside the um, lace pattern. And then when you get to the full width of this lace border, the lace border is just knitted straight and then you continue to increase in the garter stitch section until the shawl is as deep as you want it. So if you want a smaller shawl, you want to stop the increases earlier than the pattern says. Um, because if you want to make it smaller and shorter, you also want it um, not as deep as it is. So you want to do fewer increases in this first section. And I will put in the blog post um, the stitch um, count, um, repeat, so the multi stitch count multiple, stitch multiple that you need for the lace pattern uh, that's coming in the middle. So um, once you get to the full depth of the shawl, which is here, you then stop increasing in the garter stitch section. So if I just go back so you can see you're increasing all the way along here. And then when you get on every other row, so you increase on every right side row. When you get to here, you stop increasing. And then you just knit straight. And you can see there's a lace pattern here in the middle. Do you knit straight for the lace pattern? And a little thing. Can you see here how I knitted? Made a bit of mistakes. So I did about half a row where I did one row in purl on the wrong side instead of knit on the wrong side because the whole pattern is in garter stitch so every wrong side row is knitted um, for the main body of the shawl and I halfway across the row I must have switched to purl I didn't actually notice it till I was in the last kind of quarter of the shawl so I decided just to leave it but I'll fess up to that because I think it's important for you to know that I make mistakes as well and sometimes I'll fix them and sometimes I won't and this I'm not bothered about so once you reach the full width depth of the shawl, you're going to just knit straight. So the lace edging is the same width all the way along once you've finished the increases at the beginning. And then you stop increasing for this section as well and knit this section straight. So I'll put in the blog post the stitch multiple that you need for this section 
to be able to fit in this lace pattern. And you need to take that into account when you're increasing for the first section. So that's what it looks like so far. And then it's also worth weighing your yarn when you get to here. So when you get to where you want to stop increasing, weigh how much yarn you've used because you need to have that much yarn left for the end of the shawl. So make sure you weigh your yarn at this point. And then knit this section till you've used up half your available yarn. And then, so basically weigh your yarn at this point and then say you've got 100 grams, knit till you get to 50 grams left and then weigh your yarn again so you know how much this section here used. And then you do same number of repeats that you did to here, you do that again or you could just weigh your yarn when you get to this point so you know how much that section took and then knit straight till you have that same amount of yarn left for this final section. So once you get to the finished lace pattern in the middle, you're going to start decreasing inside this lace edge. So this section to the end will use the same yarn as this section did. So knit straight till you have the yarn, right amount of yarn left to finish the shawl making I would allow a little bit extra like five grams or something just to be on the safe side and then you're decreasing inside the lace border on every right side row and you continue to knit this edging straight till you get right over here to the end of the shawl just straighten out the edging a bit and then here as well as decreasing here you also start decreasing here to bring this down to a point so I will put all this in a blog post. If you're thinking, no, that sounds all too difficult, have a look at the blog post um, and see what you think. Um, because it might make sense once you've got it written down, you can sit down and really think about it. But the main thing is to wear your yarn for the first section and then knit the middle section till you have that amount of yarn left and then do the end section and then you should be okay. So thank you very much for watching. I ho hope you like the letter. I will put all the links below this video. Um, so if you want to join in the knit along in the Facebook group, the Love of Lace Knitting Facebook group, then please join us. If you want to do it on Instagram, I will give you the hashtag below so you can post your photos and I can see them. There will be a price draw at the end of September. There's also a discount code for this pattern valid till the end of September. And that's for 30% off for the pattern. And that is Valletta 30, all capital letters. So I'll put that discount code below as well and the link to the pattern and the link to the blog post where I explain how you can make it bigger or smaller. So thank you very much for watching and I hope you will enjoy knitting the letter.